Yes. The outrage over the people pardoned by former Governor Matt Bevin in his final days in office is growing. Late this afternoon, State Senate President Robert Stivers called for the U.S. Attorney's Office to launch an investigation. Now, this comes as the Senate Minority Leader and another Democratic representative are calling for a separate investigation. And we are hearing from former Governor Bevin via Twitter. Michael Burke has more about the controversy in the LEX 18 Big Story at 6. As far as a couple of state Democrats are concerned, something's fishy. Sometimes something looks bad because it is bad. For Senate Minority Leader Morgan McGarvey and House Rep Chris Harris, at least one of former Governor Matt Bevin's pardons looks about as bad as it gets. Patrick Brian Baker is a free man today, five years after being convicted on a murder charge, and there were three men there that night. The two who were accused of being accomplices are sitting in prison for 50 years right now. The person who pulled the trigger and killed another human being is free. And the senator feels there's a reason for that. That person's family raised $21,000 that went directly into the governor's pockets. When the appearance of impropriety is there, and this reeks of impropriety, when that appearance is there, we owe it to the people of Kentucky to dive in. Harris even said Bevin attended that fundraiser, which yielded the $21,000. So they want new Attorney General Daniel Cameron to appoint a special prosecutor who then needs to find the answer to one critical question. Did the governor abuse his pardon power by accepting political favors? That is a question we must have an answer to. And what if the answer to that question happens to be yes? Probably criminal, uh, criminal action against the governor. Which, they added, could be on the federal level. In Frankfurt, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. Senate President Robert Stivers issued a statement late this afternoon saying, quote, from what we know of former Governor Bevin's extreme pardons and commutations, the Senate Republican majority condemns his actions as travesty and perversion of justice. Our citizens, and especially the crime victims and their families, deserve better. We support the gathering of facts and call upon the U.S. Attorney's Office to launch an investigation into former Governor Bevin's pardons, end quote.